What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller, then the morning show starring Rebel Wilson, and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. Direct from the YouTube Road Show, not too far away from the train station that belongs to the forgiveness train. Please forgive us. It's week to look there with Ellie Mueller. And now, a man who is very famous for saying this important phrase. You know what? Forgive, and you will have peace. Don't uh, forget and keep holding grudges, and you will be stressed for the rest of your life, Mr. Ellie Cogging Mueller! Ha! Welcome to week to the update. I'm Ellie Cogging Mueller. What is up with Rice Office? <laughs> yes! Ha <laughs> ha! The theme song in the uh, segment was made by uh, Anna Gale. You know why? Uh, you know why? Uh, we're not making a huge deal uh, out of that. But let's get off the shots right now, shall we? Tonight we have Votera the Witch Rabbit with, uh, with interesting tributes to uh, Amy and several other uh, Sonic uh, characters and things like that. Dan Weezer, even though she doesn't have uh, YouTube, I mean she doesn't have it. I mean, let me start over. Even though she doesn't have a YouTube channel, she's still a good uh, friend of mine and a very, uh, very uh, viable uh, part of uh, Week Now Update. I mean, she's an important part of Week Now Update. And the Color Bean Crew and the Camera Lady. You know, they have a whole bunch of plays and a bunch of, uh, you know, funny uh, surprises for everybody. Oh! I got an announcement to make, everybody. They are now part of Week Now Update. Yes! That's right. They have uh, they have begun you know, a new uh, series for our Week Now Update. You know, and, I've, you know, and they have helped me out with this one. You know, called The World of Randomness. And you will see the first installment of that tonight on this program. That's right. Right before talking time. Wow, it's been a long time since we've had... Uh, a sketch that uh, preceded uh, talking time. It's been a long time, so we're going to be happy about that. I know, I know all of you will be uh, happy about that as well. Am I right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? What's up? You know, what's up with forgiveness? You know, it's so tough to get. Now, how can it be any easier to get? I mean, it's impossible. Forgiveness is to uh, stop resentment and to actually feel peaceful. The people who have, uh, most of the people who have uh, left the show would rather we're going to space than forgive me. Seriously. Now, forgiveness is also about letting things go. I mean, Gandhi said, uh, uh, Gandhi said, that it is the attribute of the strong. Alexander Pope said, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Here's what I'd say. Now, here's what I say. If your ex-friends don't want to forgive you, then let them go. They'll always hate you. Why, wow, that's the truth. And now, for an important top eight list, here is MP. Let's top go. Eight. List, here we go! Thank you, boss. Tonight's category, top eight signs that your ex-friends will never forgive you no matter what. Number eight, they call you a ghost behind your back. Number seven, they make fun of you all the time on social media. Number six, they begin doing shows on TV and they never thank you for helping them out. Number five, they think that Lily Singh is better than you are. Number four, they say that they would rather smell an armpit than talk to you again. Number three, they laugh whenever you fail. Number two, they cry when you even make an attempt to succeed. And number one, they spend every hour of the day boasting you on a social media platform that you are not on. Wow. This is very deep. Very profound. And for my money, very smart as well. Thank you, MP. Yes, that top eight list was very uh, profound and deep and intelligent. Excuse me, intelligent and all that good jazz. Woo! Please, like it up. Uh, uh, yeah, you 
you know the deal. You know the drill. Please like it up. You know, cut it up in the comments. You know, with me. Subscribe, ring the bell, share. But whatever you do, please do not go anywhere. The, the world of randomness is going to premiere right after this. That's right. It's going to be huge. So, uh, it's going to be huge. So stick around. I'm sorry about the, uh, the mishap uh, earlier. But whatever, stick around. We got... We got it all coming out to right after this. Right now, here it is, your Bobby Light. And at last I see the light. And it's like the sky is new. Dude! Sorry! <laughs> Hello out there from TV land, it's really great to see you Get great TV pleasure from Nick at Night You know, I've been wondering why it is you haven't called us yet about that new carpeting you need You do know that Empire has the same carpeting you'll find in the stores, don't you? The very same name brands Oh, but there are some differences between them and us With them, you gotta go out to their store With us you stay home because we come to your house with our samples. With them, you may pay extra for padding and installation. But with us, polyfoam padding and professional installation are included. With them, you may wait weeks for delivery. But with us, you've got it in three to four days. Plus, if your credit's good with us, you don't make an installment payment for 60 days. With us, you get a Bissell shampoo or free with two rooms. Oh, and with us, if you call now, you get a free Empire T-shirt with your order. So for Pete's sake, don't go to them. Call us. Five eight eight two three hundred Empire. We'll wait for your call. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes. Why? Is, is the new kitchen almost done? Yeah, we're getting uh, close. You know, and we were going to do uh, something uh, with that on the show uh, tonight. You know, that involves uh, the kitchen, but, you know, the kitchen is not done yet, so I'm sorry about that, folks. You'll see that uh, very, very soon, though. In the meantime, you know, what the color being cool and the camera lady are making their late night debut right here on this program. Really? That's right. You heard me. You heard me right. Oh my goodness. This is going to be great. We haven't had a sketch uh, that we see it uh, all the time in a long time. That's right. It's been almost three months. Yeah. So everybody, I want you to... Uh, do this. <sighs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time since we've done this. It's been a long time since we've uh, introduced a sketch of this caliber on this program. All right. So, get ready. You know, get your popcorn ready. Get some, uh, get something uh, good to uh, eat. Get something good to drink. And uh, all the neighbors, wait the kids and, uh, and grab by uh, the pets because history is about to be made. Get ready, Ed. All right, boss. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the camera lady, the color be crew, and the world of randomness. Every now and then, a show comes into view and surprises you. Of course, uh, most of the shows that come on you know, happen to have random in the title. There had been random information, the random report, you know, etc., etc. 
right? Well, now we have taken things one step further. We now take you into the world of randomness. This has been the world of randomness. That's right. We're still working on uh, the kings, but they'll get better in due time. We now return to the regularly scheduled programming, already in progress. Yes, it is still Nick at Night. Come on now. I mean, that was spectacular! That was great! I mean, that was fantastic! I mean, seriously! That right there deserves an Emmy. That right there has hit written all over it. I mean, number one hit! That is what uh, the world of randomness uh, is. That is a number one hit! I mean, for real. Whoop! Now, please comment down below uh, what you think about, uh, you know, the world of randomness. You know, do you folks like it? I mean, whoop! Yeah, uh, the world of randomness, ladies and gentlemen. That was spectacular! Ladies and gentlemen, right now, I think it's time for us to have a little talking time. Let's go, huh? Yeah! What time is it? It's talking time! So... Let's talk about it! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go over the definition of the word forgive first. And then the forgiveness. Alright? You know what? To forgive is to cease to feel resentment against an offender. You know, like a pardon. You know, of course, uh, there was also to grant relief from uh, payment of, like, uh, forgive a debt, but, you know, we're really going after, you know, are the following two, uh, our, uh, the first two definitions. Oh, well, there's a, 
Or there's one that comes before that, which is to give up resentment of or claim to requital for. Alright, so we're going to go over those two. Uh, we're going to go over uh, the defini definition one, which is to cease to feel resentment against an offender or to pardon. And, you know, what this definition to give up resentment of or claim to requital for. Now, do you know how hard it is, you know, to uh, forgive? You know, it is very, very, very hard to do. I mean, when you are uh, forgiving uh, someone, that means that you are willing to let the past go. And for uh, the youngsters out there, it just typically means, you know, if, if you have uh, brothers and sisters out there, forgiveness, uh, to forgive, it just simply means to stop feeling angry and uh, angry at or hurt by. You know, like for example, you know, let's say you made uh, a huge mistake once, right? You apologize and things like that, right? Well, the people who uh, were originally mad at you uh, for what uh, you did won't uh, feel uh, mad at you anymore because they forgive you. Alright? Of course. How can you forgive? Well, that's where uh, some of these quotes can come in handy. You know, take Mahatma Gandhi. You know, from his uh, book entitled, uh, from uh, this uh, book entitled, All Men Are Brothers, Autobiog uh, Autobiographical Reflections. You know, Gandhi said, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. What he's saying is, if you can forgive someone uh, for what uh, that person had done wrong, then you are a lot stronger than those who don't know how to forgive, or those who refuse to forgive. Alright? Now, Alexander Pope wrote this you know, during uh, an essay on criticism. I mean, in his essay on uh, criticism. I mean, yeah, he wrote an essay on criticism, and in it he wrote, To err is human, to forgive divine. What does that mean? Well, we all make mistakes. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, some people make more mistakes than others. But regardless, regardless, you know what, you got to uh, not only forgive, you know, but we you are, know, but at the end of the day, you got to not only forgive, uh, you know, others for what uh, they might have done, but you also got to forgive yourself. Alright? Because if you can't forgive yourself, then how can anybody else forgive you? Well, our Heavenly Father and our Savior will always uh, forgive us uh, every day. That uh, will always be uh, a given. No uh, doubt about it. You know? But anyway, All that is to say, you know, uh, you know, if you want to uh, really uh, make a difference in the world, then you gotta learn how to forgive, and you also need to learn how to let things go. You know, because the longer you hold things in, you know what, uh, you know what. The more painful uh, it's going to be later on, so it's best to uh, get it out the way. You know, forgive, let it out, and then let it go. All right, man, oh man, I gotta say, you know what? Uh, this has been one of the best nights ever for myself and for a week update. I thank you so much for uh, 
for finding the time to tune in. And I also want to thank the Color Beanie crew and the camera lady for coming over and helping me out. You know, uh, the world of randomness is going to be uh, a regular thing on this uh, program. So uh, please uh, be on the lookout for future uh, installments. All right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this has been great. Thank you so much once again. Oh, man. I'll see you on Monday. Then experiments are going to start now. That's the news. And I'm Alski. Spur wall by for wall. One, two, three. Hey. You got me with the scissors. I'm going to rock with the scissors. Good goodness. Hey. How about some of the, uh, any experiments, huh? Well, you're already uh, stuck with us, so why not? You're stuck with all of us on this program, right? Okay, so let's go. And now, it's time for a question of the week. You know what? Uh, this is where, you know, we ask our hand puppets, you know, a random question that revolves around, uh, you know what, uh, the topic. You know, uh, you know, at least one topic. This time, we're going to ask them a question about forgiveness. So, hand puppets, do you think that, uh, the former not very late night players will uh, ever forgive uh, Mr. Mueller, or do you think that uh, most, or do you think that most of them uh, think that uh, Mr. Mueller, uh, you know, has, uh, you know, uh, has gone too far? You know, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, uh, hmm. sometimes, you know. Uh, if you forgive uh, someone long enough and, and that person doesn't change and uh, they get the lost cause. Yeah, of course Mr. Mueller is uh, showing that he has changed. It was just that uh, now uh, people are expecting more of, uh, from him. I mean, come on! Can't uh, Mr. Mueller just work on himself before uh, throwing his behavior on camera before he ends? Before you can even think about uh, trying to add uh, stuff uh, to this program. Yeah, it makes no sense. Thank you, hand puppets. That was very helpful. Alright, folks. We've done this before and we're going to do it again. It's time for the best of Joke Time and Dog Tricks with Daniel Luna. Here we go. Guys, run! Don't go do into the streets. Uh, phew, that was close. After a few seconds of mindless stalling, we finally get the dog to catch the ball. Is he ever going to move? Wait, he moved. And he got the ball near the streets again. The owners really need to be more careful. What on earth are we going to do? Now, here's an amazing trick. Try to get a dog to jump and get the ball while someone else stands in front of you and the dog. Okay, this will take a little while. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! He got it. Elizabeth Banks is the third host of the Press Your Luck franchise, and people think that she's an awesome host. Really? Have we forgotten about... Peter Tomerkin and Todd Newton, what's wrong with you? Elizabeth's net worth is $50 million. Well, that's what happens when you become a game show host. Your net worth is even lower than the whammy's paycheck. If the people from the Game Show Gumbo channel ever noticed this episode, then they would absolutely agree with the following Press Your Luck host chain. Peter Tomerkin, Todd Newton, Elizabeth Banks, and Ricky Lane, even though she did a one-off. Wait a minute. Ricky Lake is actually called Mr. Mueller once. Should we be concerned? This wall says, Hey, please learn how to forgive. And make sure you forgive responsibly. Thank you. Folks, you gotta learn 
and to uh, forgive. You know, and uh, I'm going to let things go. All right, now there are some uh, things that, uh, there are some uh, people who, uh, who did things that are uh, absolutely uh, so wrong that you can't uh, forgive. You know, and things like that, and that's fine, you know, but, you know, at the very least, you know, or can we all just move on? I mean, think about it. If you don't move on, and if you don't uh, forget, learn how to forgive, then think about how uh, bad your health will be. Think about how bad your health will be. Think about it. What did we learn? Well, we've learned how important it is to forgive. And we've also learned how important it is to uh, let uh, certain things go. And, you know, I, I'm not saying that you should, uh, well, <clears throat> you know, I, how do I put this, how do I put this delicately? You know, there are limits, you know, in terms of uh, forgiving people. There are. All right. You know, but if you can you know, forgive uh, people who are willing to uh, change their ways and things like that, then uh, everything is going to be all right. All right. We got to move. But thank you so much for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Your musical performance time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's musical performance time again. And this time... Presenting you uh, another oldie for the goodie. This is from, from my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Or, or Willy Wonka and the Cho Chocolate Factory. You know, either one of those will be uh, very accept acceptable for what I'm about to show you. Close your eyes. Make a wish. Count to three. Come with me, will you? Mm -hmm. 